This is the true story. We got this. Off one theme. <laughs> Atlanta! Picked by Jeff Kassar. Get into it! Training together for an entire season. To find out what happens. Close, close, close. When people stop being polite. And it started getting real. The team was in Chicago. It was Friday afternoon. All the guys were gone. I obviously was home hurt and went up to this awesome park. Incredible view. Um, it's like 80 degrees, sunny out. Started doing a little workout up there by myself. This is just music. Nice little afternoon. And then things took a turn for the worse. Uh, you know, I started taking pictures of the view thinking I might put this on Instagram. Like, what an incredible view. Kind of new to the whole social media thing. And then I decided, well, why not put my, you know, face in there? And then I kind of realized, well, my shirt's off. And I didn't really care. <laughs> and so I took a couple pictures, and by couple I mean probably like 10 or 12. <laughs> and then, you know, I even, t I texted my girlfriend and said, should I put this on Instagram? She said, oh yeah, no problem, go for it. And it was a mistake, and I realized it immediately. <laughs> Started getting texts from my buddies, like, my, my, a lot of my high school buddies text me like, what is this, what are you doing? These guys obviously were hammering me, so, you know, you live and you learn. Saturday morning, you know, wake up, check your phone, probably go back to sleep, but I woke up, check my phone, and it was the first picture on my Instagram <laughs> feed. So I rolled over, I was rooming with Sturzer, I said, Sturzer, please tell me you've seen this. First thing he said was, oh, the Cole Instagram. I said, yep, and then sent out a nice little group text, pretty much said, Listen, you know, there's no way we can let him get away with this one. It had everything. It had the tough guy act Aaron, had the shirt off, it had the view, it had the blue steel look, the hair perfectly parted. It had it all. And it was just, uh, it was good for team morale to see it. That's what I'm here for. Yep. And then uh, when we got the win and we were all like in the locker room changing, it was just like, oh, shirtless selfie. Got to send one to Cole. And you know, it, it worked out, got a pretty good, uh, good laugh out of it. Cole, is it's it coming. time to get on Twitter? It's coming. Uh, it, I'm definitely he has going the picture, in that direction. He has a picture for it. Yeah, that's my my Twitter picture for sure. He has the picture for it. I just am, I run the risk of saying a few inflammatory things politically, which is probably not the best idea on Twitter. So you know. Yeah, don't want to lose those endorsements. <laughs> yeah, all the endorsements <laughs> I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think for me, if I lost endorsements, it'd be kind of like Lance Armstrong, just you know, hundred million dollars lost. So I gotta be careful of that. Well, the good thing about my endorsement deals is that I'm signed with Ramondo's hand-me-downs. <laughs> so it's gonna take a lot for, to get that cut. Yeah, I'm gonna have to really yeah. make them mad. But so far, you know, it's been it's been a good little system for me. Let's look at it. That Ramondo's gotten the team hats, headphones, socks, socks <laughs> Nike gear. He's just basically, he's the gift that keeps on giving. I yeah. signed in the off season and he's been taking care of me, so it's been a pretty good setup. I got mine this morning actually, I think I hit it out of the park. What'd you get? Uh, she loves, for some reason, she likes to eat M&Ms and when she's eating M&Ms, she likes to drink a beer. So I got her personalized M&Ms they say Happy Mother's Day on one side, and on the other side it says Beer Me Mike, and Mike's my dad. It's good stuff. So I'm just hoping that all day she's just tossing M&Ms to my dad, and my dad's getting her some beer, so that one took a lot of thought. I bet that's a lot better than whatever cool guy is. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. <laughs> yeah, Mom, I'm sorry, uh, but he was telling me about his gift, and I, you know, to be honest, I had no idea Mother's Day is on Sunday, so uh, thanks to this guy I do now, and I'm in gift mode. Uh, Big time, but I'll figure something out. And uh, you know, you got a great mom, so just want to say happy Mother's Day, mom. Love you. Does that count? Does, yeah. Does that work? <laughs> yeah. Just want to say thank you for watching another episode of The Real World, and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Cool. Oh, didn't see you guys there. Happy Mother's Day. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 what are we doing? This is so fun, bro. Oh this is so fun. Yeah.